Thank you Glowforge for sponsoring my channel. To save up to $500 off your Glowforge, go to glowforge.com slash Weber or click the link in the description below. Hey everybody, welcome back to the third annual roundup of my favorite wood shop tools and accessories. All right, I've worked really hard over the last couple years to make my website an awesome resource for anyone setting up a shop. I've just relaunched my website, making it even easier to find what you need to set up your own shop. I've got an entire section dedicated to my favorite tools, and so far there's about 125 items. Nothing on this list is sponsored, so there's no outside bias, pressure, or brand loyalty. These are my genuine recommendations of tools and accessories that I've spent my own money on, and I'm still glad that I did. You can find all of this in one place on my website, weberwoodshop.com, and I'll put a link in the video's description below that takes you directly to these recommendations. For the most part, this list is pretty affordable. Other than a few splurge items, the average price is around 30 bucks and there's even several things under 10. All right, here we go. In the power tools and accessories category, I've got all the Incra upgrades on my table saw. By the way, my table saw is not on this list because I bought it used and it's an old discontinued model. The dust collection blade splitter that I modified for my table saw. You'll have to do some cutting and it won't fit every saw, but keeping the dust out of your face is worth it if you can make it work for you. Link belts to cut down on vibration for table saws, band saws, drill press, joiner, and any machine that uses a V-belt. My favorite table saw blades for ripping, cross-cutting, and dado. Blades are everything, by the way. It's where the rubber meets the road. The shop vacuum and cyclone dust separator that I use for all of my dust collection. I think it's more than adequate for a small shop like mine. Remote switches for power tools. I hang one of these on my belt loop when I'm in the shop and use it to control my dust collection. Bandsaw upgrades like guides, tires, and springs. If you've got an older bandsaw like I do, these will really make a difference. An air hose reel. It's really nice to be able to just pull down the hose when you're using a brad nailer or an air chuck. The Incra track that I put on everything, including my miter station. Digital angle gauge, a must have for truing up your table saw blade, drill press table, bandsaw, etc. Router lift, definitely a splurge item, but also a complete game changer. My router table has got to be my favorite machine in the entire shop, and you see me use it in every video. A paddle switch, I put one of these on my router table and also my bandsaw for safety. Router bits, I've listed a few of the specialty bits that I get questions about from my videos. A rolling base, which is really handy if you have a small shop like I do and need to move your machinery around sometimes. My favorite small power tools such as drills, drivers, random orbit sanders, belt, and disc sander. A pin nailer. These micro brads are so tiny they virtually disappear. They're really handy for detail work like trim and built-in cabinets. The sharpening system that I use to keep all my chisels and plane blades nice and dangerous. Some of the machinery that I get a lot of questions about is also on that list, including my drum sander, oscillating spindle and belt sander, track saw, HVLP, etc. For hand tools, I've got a set of very high quality Japanese chisels on the list. They aren't the exact same set that I bought years ago, but they're very similar. Japanese pole saws for ripping, cross cutting, and joinery. These are the exact same saws that I have and absolutely love. They cut like butter and the blades are interchangeable, so when they get dull, you can just replace them. Dovetail guides, as featured in my last video. I use a one to eight ratio for dovetails and hardwoods and a one to six ratio for softwoods, but I also use the 90 degree guide for all sorts of cuts. Japanese marking gauge, marking knife, Incra T-Rule, the Japanese mallet that I use for chiseling, a good combo square, sanding pads, and these are probably my all-time favorite tool for under 15 bucks. They use the same sanding discs as my random orbit sander and just attach with Velcro. The pads are super easy to grip and nice and soft, so they're forgiving on corners and edges. I would even recommend getting two or three of these so you can keep various grits on them. F clamps, bar clamps, spring clamps, a quality pair of shop scissors, soft jaw pliers, I use these all the time when I need to tighten or loosen something delicate without marring the surface. A dead blow mallet. These are amazing for joinery. They're filled with lead shot and transfer more energy with each blow without bouncing off the workpiece. It's one of those must have items for woodworking. A great tool bag for those times when your parents ask you to fix something and you need to bring some tools with you. Starting off in the shop accessories category, I've got my shop flooring tiles. This is another one of those things that I get asked about constantly. I absolutely love them. My garage floor was really rough and covered with stains and these make my floor really easy to clean and it's a bit softer on my back and legs. I often get asked about the durability but they're made for parking cars on top of and they've even held up great under my heavy machinery for several years now. Magnets for shop use and for projects. I use these everywhere. My hardware bins also a crowd favorite. Craft paper for covering your bench. You see me use this stuff every time I do a glue up. Articulating bench lamp. Put a really good bulb in it for movable task lighting right over your workbench. Glue bottle, lumber racks, CA glue, 
the double stick tape that I use for attaching router templates in every one of my videos. Shop lighting. If you already have tube style fixtures like I did, these LED replacements will be a great upgrade. Glue brushes, both reusable and disposable depending on the purpose. Craft sticks, not just fun for the kids, but also useful in all kinds of unexpected ways. Mechanical pencils. I buy these in large packages and sprinkle them all over my shop so I can always grab one. My bike hanger pulley system. I've got three bikes hanging above my shop and they're actually really easy to get up and down because of these hangers. Photo backdrop and lowering system. I use this in all my final beauty shots for both video and photos. They make everything look really professional and when I'm not using them, they roll up like a window shade. Micro sanders for detail sanding and shaping. Carbide razor blades. Put one of these in your box knife and it'll actually stay sharp about 10 times longer than regular razor blades. Hex key or Allen socket sets. You know when you buy just about anything online that needs assembly and it has about 30 screws and they give you one of those little hex key or Allen wrenches? Well, these connect your drill or impact driver and they speed up the process tenfold. Finishing supplies, including wipe-on polyurethane and paste wax. And there's a lot more on this list that I didn't even mention here. So go check out the full list at weberwoodshop.com and happy holidays. My Glowforge laser has changed the way I design, build, and even think about woodworking. It's the fastest, quietest, and most accurate machine in my shop. It's so easy to learn that my kids regularly use it to make craft projects, but it's powerful enough to produce fine furniture or even start a business. I've got a coupon code that can save you up to $500 on a Glowforge and supports my channel as well. So if I've inspired you to try one, go to glowforge.com Weber to get started today. Hey, check it out. I just finished creating a new line of t-shirts and other apparel from my favorite woodworking designs. T-shirts, stickers, and other merchandise are all available now on my website at reasonable prices. And as always, a huge thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for encouraging me to go out into the shop late at night after the kids go to bed and produce these videos. If you want to join the club, get access to SketchUp and Laser SVG files, as well as discounts up to 50% off merch, or see your name at the end of these videos, just find me on Patreon. See you later.